here to read a story to you. And what kind of an animal do you see on a the chicken. cover of a my book? Yeah, a chicken. It Where also can be called a hen, exactly. This book is called The Little Red Hen. And in The Little Red Hen, we're going to see what The Little Red Hen is trying yes, to do. And The Little Red Hen is going to talk to some friends. What do you think this animal is? A pig. A pig. You're right, it's a pig. Even though the illustrator used some interesting shapes here, right? It doesn't look exactly like a pig, but this is a pig. What do you think this animal is supposed to do? A duck! A duck! And this is a cat! Yeah. And this is the little red hen. And then she has three little Aww. pigs. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to watch and see what happens when the little red hen asks her friends for help. You know, sometimes you have to ask your friends for help, right? Sometimes the little red hen in this book is going to ask her friends for help. And I want you to watch and see what happens, and then we're going to talk about it. Sound good? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here we go. The little red hen. Once there were four friends. So, she went to her three friends and asked, who will help me plant the seeds? It's good to ask for help, right? Who will help me plant the seeds? Not I, squealed the pig. Not I, quacked the duck. Not I, meowed the cat. What's going to help them? Are her friends helping her? No. My goodness. Then I will plant the seeds, said the little red hen. And she did, planting the seeds. And the seeds sprouted and grew into large stalks of wheat. So, let's see, let's see what happens. Then the little red hen asked her three friends, who will help me make this flour into bread? What? There's, she's gonna, she wants to make bread. She's going to no, make the flour no. into bread. No, they all say, no. They say, not I. You want to say it with me? No. Not I, no. meowed the cat. No. Not I, squealed the pig. No. Not I, quacked the duck. Then I will make the flour into bread, she said, and she did. So, so she funny. mixed it up with like some egg and some milk and some yeast, and she made it into bread. And look here, she's taking the bread out of the oven. So on this day, I was simply introducing the text to this sweet pre-K class to get them familiar with the text. But it is not shared reading. This would just be considered like an interactive read aloud because in shared reading, the print has to be large enough or projected so that all students can see the letters and see the words and be able to read along, to be able to participate with seeing the print and saying the words.